You don't go somewhere and live there for nine years and do what we did with that team and think it will leave you. It follows you for the rest of your life. Uh, by the way, he was never a Boston guy. We talked to him about it all the time. He, he spent fifty grand in one year on flights home to see you know volleyball games. Right. Uh, flights home for weekends or, or off days. I mean, he lived there. He had an apartment here. His wife and kids were there. So it wasn't like well, he my pro, yeah. put down roots. Right. He never did. And he, I think he should have just said when it happened, I don't want to coach her anymore. I want to win the championship. I can't coach young he guys. He did. It took him a while to get he there. He said that to Danny Ainge. Did he say it to Dennis O'Callaghan? No. He said it to Danny Ainge. Yeah, we don't had him think? on. Oh, oh, I think it was maybe Dale and I over the summer, the last interview with him, and he just he wouldn't say it. And right. I just wanted to hear him say it. But, but you know what else there is in play here? It's not just the mercenary aspect, and it's not just not wanting to be the rebuilding thing. I think the competitive factor yes. has a lot to do with this. He knew that he was going to wallow in the doldrums of mediocrity, unless they went completely bad, which they're apparently not trying to do, and then built themselves back up for a long period of time. And at this stage in his career, I don't think Doc wanted to sign up for not being oh, a perception. Is think perception of how miserable of... it is losing. I mean, look at New right. York and New Jersey right now. Sure. Think if you're Doc Rivers, you're used to winning, you want to win, you, you know, you're thinking about winning a championship, and you have to coach a team that's five years away from well, a championship. Well, this perception of Doc Rivers, the coach, change if he goes 54-28, and 28, makes Eastern Conference Finals with the Clippers? No. There's a perception of Doc he Rivers, was, the coach, the change Conference Finals. Western, Con- Western Conference Finals. There's a perception of Doc Rivers change as a coach if he rebuilds this team from scratch, stays here, says, I'm in, rolls his sleeves up, and rebuilds them into greatness again. Yes. Well, sure. Right be now, another, nobody knows. Be another perception. He wants to win a championship. Line item. And, and think of it. It's a life of misery. And Brad Stevens signed up for it. He knows it. I think he's the per- – when you look at him, you say, that's the perfect – Comportment, yes, for this job. You can't be all up and down and yanking your tie and all emotional. Uh, it, it would never work. You have to keep that even keel. Doc is too emotional and too uh, you know, living in the moment to to work with this job. This job is a what four or five year plan. Sure. Plus, Stevens has something to prove. He has a resume in the NBA to build. Doc does not. That desire to prove that he is one of the best coaches in the league has already been accomplished by Doc. By taking this team, that wherever they are now, to wherever they can be in four or five years, adds a nice line item on his resume. But his resume is very Plus, much yeah, I, 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 He looks at his yeah. check stub every week and says, holy crap, I'm making two million bucks a year. Yeah, I'm not sure that Doc Rivers is a great coach. I have no idea. I mean, he had great players and he right. won. When he didn't have great players, he stunk. I mean, it's, right. he's like everybody else. Yeah. You think he's a great basketball coach? No, no well, not yet. I mean, we, before he's done, we may look back and say he's a great basketball coach, but... Uh, he's great at the job. He's yeah. great at all the aspects of the job. Hell, he was—I think he'd be a good recruiter uh, if you're looking for free agents. Mm. And do he I was think, a good recruiter. Yeah. Do, do I think he's a good guy with you know teaching Kelly Olynyk or uh, you know Andrew Wiggins for that matter? You know, teaching those guys what the NBA is all about. I don't think that's his strength. For more, visit weei.com/video.